to the Runner X Podcast, where we talk about all things running. As many runners know, it's 90% mental. So join Coach Valerie and Coach Caroline as we go through the mental side of running. Welcome back to Tough Love Tuesdays. I'm your host, Coach Caroline. And today I want to talk about your thoughts about weight. Okay, this is a bit of a taboo subject. I know a lot of people don't like to talk about weight or being overweight when they run. But let's be honest, that's why a lot of us run. Uh, I know that's why I started running originally and why I'm getting back into running now and why I strength train. When you hold weight on your body, it's like you're running with um, a backpack or you're running with a weight vest. As that weight comes off, the running if you're running correctly, will get easier. And that's really a lot of what I want people to understand if you come to work with us. I have some people say to us, um, they'll write in and say, oh, well, I need to lose the weight before I can work with you. And that's like saying I need to get in shape before I'm going to go work with the gym, or I, I need to make sure that I'm in better shape or um, that I'm healthy before I go see my doctor. No, come in now. Come in now and learn the muscle movement while you have the weight on you, okay? There are ways you can modify. There are ways you can do um, a little bit less impact so that you're not really running and jumping hard because you don't want to be running and jumping hard with that extra weight on you. I have like about an extra 30 pounds on my frame. So if you can imagine, if you don't have 30 pounds on your frame, if you can imagine like holding a 30 pound dog or a 30 pound weight and trying to box jump or trying to jump up and down, like um, doing a uh, jump rope, that would be really difficult. That would be hard cardiovascularly. It would be hard to maintain um, your, your being able to bounce and move the, move the uh, rope. Even if you weren't moving the rope, it would just be difficult. Now imagine that is now 20 pounds. How would that feel? 10 pounds. How would that feel? The idea though, is that if you can learn to jump lightly and correctly, right? If I'm jumping rope, I'm using that as my analogy. If I can jump without pounding myself, if I can jump lightly, if I can learn, keep, make sure I'm bending my knees and I'm being springy and I'm using all of the things that my muscle elasticity needs to be great at jump roping, then as I lose weight, that's just going to get better, right? So if I wait to lose the weight before I learn how to jump rope, that's not going to work, guys. It's the same with running. So what I want you to realize is that what will happen naturally as you start to work with us and you're drilling, the drills are short bursts, okay? Remember, we talk about a mile being 1,500 steps. What's so crazy is as runners, we think that that mile has to be from point A to point B on a road or even around a track. That's not to say you can't drill around a track. It's not to say you can't drill on a road. But the point is, is whether I'm drilling, running, stopping, catching my breath, drilling, running, stopping. At the end of that, say, let's just say hypothetically 10 minutes, if I looked at my pedometer and I'm at roughly 1,500 steps, I've still gone a mile. I've done the exact same mile as some sprinter that comes whizzing by me, okay? It's, it's the joke I used to make to my really fast running friends when I would spend, you know, three hours on a half marathon and they'd spend an hour and 15 minutes. And I'd say, look, we got the same medal. <laughs> you know, we, I got more time on the track though. It wasn't that great. You know, did you see the things I saw? But at the end of the day, it didn't matter that I spent three hours and they spent an hour and a half. We got the same medal. Isn't that crazy? Um, that's what I want you to understand is that that kind of thought process, you need to start thinking more about how, how am I going to feel when I get past the weight? How am I going to feel when I lose the weight? Am I running to lose weight? Am I running because maybe I put on weight because I was under a lot of stress? I wasn't feeling good. I was going through some hard times with my work or with my uh, life situation or with my family. Just think of how that's going to be. Who's the person you want to be when you get to that point in running? Okay. So I want you to start thinking about how you talk to yourself, not just about running, but how you talk to yourself about your weight. So when you're going to go out to go run, 
And you need to be thinking things like, I'm learning a new pattern. I'm going to give myself a little grace. I'm going to take my, take my time. I'm going to really try to focus in on my movement and my movement patterns. What I want you to do is start really focusing in on, are you speaking badly about yourself? Like you're so heavy. If you just lost this weight, you'd be able to do this. You know, I, I, I'm always amazed because when you actually focus in on what you're telling yourself, would you ever speak to a friend that way? Would you ever speak to a family member that way? Or worse yet, would you let someone talk to you that way? Would you let your boss come up and say those things to you or your neighbor? You'd probably say, talk to the hand. I don't want to deal with you. I don't need that negativity, right? But yet we talk to ourselves that way all the time. So a big part of learning to run and losing weight is that combination of giving yourself grace, taking time, going at it, uh, with a very focused intention, tension on your movement, you're still going to get actually a great workout from the standpoint that it's high intensity training, right? You're actually going to be doing intervals while you're working out. And at the same time, you can work on those thought patterns. And it's those thought patterns that are probably what's getting you to eat more or finish a plate when you're actually already full or drinking that alcohol or buying that that I, I was a chronic shopper, so I'd buy that outfit to make myself feel better, right? We all have things that we do that we try to mask what we're trying to resist, and that's all the weight is. But I'll talk about that in the, ne in the next episode. I'll talk about that resisting. So if you're thinking about coming in, thinking about working with us, you're, you're following what she's doing, but you're talking trash to yourself about your weight, stop it. And cut yourself some slack and realize that as you learn to move correctly, that weight will come off and you'll be in a better position. Thanks, guys. Thank you for joining us on the RunRx podcast. If you'd like to know more, join us at www.runrx.fit. And if you have additional questions that you'd like answered on the podcast, email us at support at runrx.fit. 